I have my body substance isolation in place. I'm going to direct my partner to take manual stabilization of the patient's head. Now I'm going to check for pulse, motor, and sensory in all four extremities. Chris, can you feel me touching your hands? Yes. Wiggle your fingers for me. Pulses are present. Chris, can you feel me touching your toes? Yes. Wiggle your toes for me. Pulses are present. Now I'm going to apply an appropriately sized cervical collar to the patient's neck. Open your mouth for me. Good. Next, I'm going to work on getting the device behind the patient's back. I'm going to take the KED and I'm going to approach the patient from an angle. We interrupt this regularly scheduled practical skill station for me to blow your mind. How many of you folks still go through the hassle of counting to three and then moving the patient forward, placing the KED behind the patient, then counting to three and moving the patient back? Did you know that the KED is designed so that it can be placed behind the patient's back without having to move them forward at all? In fact, if you place the KED at an angle, it will not get caught on the patient's belt, and then you, all you have to do is simply adjust it upward, and it will be at the perfect placement behind the patient's back. Now we will resume your regularly scheduled practical skill station already in progress. I'm going to slide the device in. And now I'm going to rotate the device upward. All right, sir, bring your arms up. Now to ensure that the device is placed at the appropriate level, I'm going to gently lift it and watch the shoulders shrug. Excellent. Now I'm going to pull down the leg straps. Lift your arm up. And place them to the side for later. Now I'm going to secure the device to the patient's torso. to make sure that the straps are adjusted properly by rechecking them. Now I'm going to work on the leg straps. Next, I'm going to secure the head to the patient's device. So I'm going to bring the flaps of the device around. 
Now I see that there's a little gap, so I'm going to place the padding there to fill that gap. Then fold the padding down. My partner come against it. Start by placing that strap. Now I'm going to check all my straps to make sure that they are the appropriate tightness. Next, I'm going to reassess pulse motor and sensory in all four extremities. Chris, do you feel me touching your hands? Yes. Wiggle your fingers. Pulses are present. Chris, do you feel me touching your toes? Yes. Wiggle your toes for me. Pulses are present. And finally, I would verbalize moving the patient to a long board for transport. And I'm done with the station. Three, two. Why did you have to give me the finger? I saw that. I didn't give you the finger. You I went like this. No, right before that you did this. No, I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't. No one else saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this. Here you go. All right. Three. You're a <laughs> <laughs> Filming. <laughs>